Welcome back, everyone, to... Here's the long title. Master Questers play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice. Ooh, this is good. That was, I think that's the first time we've actually said that. It feels good to finally say it. Let's see, today is our second day-ish of the last case, which is apparently more than one case. Yeah, our second we, day -ish. Uh, because we won our case, but it looks like it's still going. Are you ready to go to Corrine again, Clark? I wasn't ready the first time, Chelsea. Well, so too... no, so the answer is no still. Well, too bad. God, can we just... We gotta save Maya. Well, again. let's just assume we saved her and let's make up our own ending. Here, I'll do the music. Da, 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 da. We saved Maya and solved the case. I hope that our next game is in space. There. Okay, good stream, everybody. See you later. still in the lobby. <clears throat> oh, wait, what happened? How did this happen so quickly? Well, it was revealed to us that Maya's still in Karine being held hostage. Yeah, it's already the scary music, though. Yeah. What do you mean, Miss Faye is still being held hostage? And what? who's this mastermind? What do you mean, what do I mean? It doesn't get any more complicated than that, Apollo. Politician Wimperson was nothing more than a puppet. His benefactors were the ones pulling the strings. But I have no idea who they are. Really, are you Phoenix? sure you don't know that it's Inga? <laughs> so all we know is it's the person he was trying to give the orb to? Right. He just was following orders. Oh, sorry guys. Whoops. Forgot about being uncomfortable. Shit. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. I don't know if they can even hear that. They can. They can? Yeah, there's no... Because we since we record directly off of the speakers of the 3DS, mm -hmm. there's no noise gate. Ah. Well then, sorry guys. Sorry about that our should, air conditioning. That should shut off in a minute. Whoever it is, they seem they really want to get their hands on the form on the orb. So then, Miss Faye's abduction is the work of this so-called benefactor too. Right again, whoever they are, they're in Karain. Road trip. Along with Maya. More Phoenix, of a sky trip. Phoenix, how are you affording all these plane tickets? Not only... Trucy. <laughs> like, not only have you been going back and forth, but now we have to come too. Eh. My daughters are famous. True. See. Right. I wonder who they could be. Maybe Edgeworth gave him a loan. <laughs> yeah, probably. Right, this Maya. The spirit medium you were, you've been talking about. She wouldn't happen to be that bun-haired young lady you defended back in Karine. That's her. Only one person has a bun. Why do you ask? I see. I think I know what's going on here. Do you? I've got good news for you, right? Maya su Maya's somewhere safe. That much I am sure of. Did, did you kidnap her? Listen, we've all had to do stuff that we didn't... that we kind of regret. 
I'm afraid you've lost me. <laughs> so that's who the little... So that's who the little snot's patron is. It's all starting to make sense. That fool has no idea I'm here in the state. In the states with you all. There's a really loud, like, garbage truck or something outside. Yep, that is true. Dirk, you mind filling us in? He's calling Phoenix. It's Dirk. He's a magician. <laughs> I... no caller ID. I wonder who's calling. Hello? It's L. It's... <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright, yes. Let me... Uh, start by thanking you for taking the good care of my subordinate. Wh who is this? I believe you know me as Mr. Artisan's benefactor. It's the killer. <laughs> ah! Sounds like they're using a voice changer or something just to disguise themselves. Where's Maya? Is she safe? I had my ears on today's proceedings. What a shock it was to hear that the key to solving the orb's riddle is a spirit medium. Good thing I have one with me right now. I admit I did not see that coming. Wait, did they plant a listening device in here somehow? Nevertheless, I don't think for a minute that I will guarantee my FA's safety. She is not the only medium within my reach, you know. You harm a hair on Maya's head, and you'll have an answer, and you'll have to answer to me. Lawyer dad. Lawyer dad. Right. I'm gonna Give it point and shout at you. <laughs> Give it here a sec. Wait. Hey there. How's it going, stranger? Who is this? Why, it's your friendly neighborhood dragon. I just happened to be in the U.S. on a little trip. Minister of Justice, Inga... Oh, Karkul? Okay, Inga Karkul Karine. What? what? Shocker. Wow, I can't believe it was the guy who was set up as a clearly evil man. Such a plot twist. How wet will they think of next? Uh, Inga? What? Who is this person? I don't even know because I've never been in Karine. <laughs> Maya's kidnapper. Is Karine's minister of justice? That's not as shocking as you're yeah. trying to pretend it is. No. I mean, he's wearing like the same style as Gant. He's basically just Karine's Gant. Yeah. And he's not even like as subtle as Gant was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should be oh, him, because yeah. I didn't like my voice for him at all. Well, what voice should I give him? Give then? him the voice you're giving the him. Mobster the mobster voice? Mobster voice. Okay, my terrible mobster voice? Your mobster voice is not terrible. Dirk, is that you, you dirty turncoat? How in the... What in blazes is this going on here? See? <laughs> See, it's great. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, you know. Just popped over to the States for a little R&R. But enough about me, Inga. This was your excuse for a... This was a poor excuse for a bluff you pulled just now. We both know your threats are as empty as your head. You can't lay a hand on my affair. 
And I do mean that literally. Because we kidnapped Maya Fey. Because you have no hands. <laughs> ah! What is he talking about? You can kiss your chances at getting this orb goodbye. <laughs> my affe ain't my only. How shall I say? Insurance, you know, Dirk. What? I've got someone dear to you right in the palm of my hand, sir. Oh no. Now that one. Well, you can imagine what kind of things I could do, sir. No. <sighs> Is he talking about Sadmati? He's deaf talking about Sadmati. <laughs> Glad to s you're seeing things my way. Meet me at Amara's tomb tomorrow, 3 p.m. sharp. How am I supposed to get there that fast? It's probably already tomorrow. And you better come alone, sir. If all goes well, the orb is all you'll need to get my affair back. Dirk, what's going on? You heard him. I have to get back to Corain at once. What? Why? What do you think, Apollo? No time to explain. Did you not hear the conversation? But are you even going to make it? What if there are no seats left on the next flight? He's a terrorist, Apollo. <laughs> Plus, you're a wanted man. They're not going to just let you get on a plane. I don't, I don't know how you got here to begin with. But they're definitely not now. Submarine. Let me worry about that, Mr. Justice. Is, oh, is, wait. Is this Edgeworth? Maybe. Yeah. Hey, Edgeworth! Edgeworth! Did you finally here? Yay! Yay! Ch Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth? Who's gonna voice Edgeworth? Um... Do you want to voice Edgeworth? Um... Because, I mean, I have a, already know what I think he sounds like. What do you think he sounds like? I don't know if I'm just gleaning this off VGA, but he sounds like a snob. Yeah. I kind of think that, too. Okay. I love Fraser's voice for him. <laughs> it's, like, not what I imagine when I actually read it in my head, but uh -huh. it's a pretty great voice. What are you doing here? Taking care of a hostage situation. That's a very nasally voice. Oh, now that you mention it, we are in a hostage situation, aren't we? Pearl did say she saw you around in Karain Village. I had him look into a few things while I was on my way back from Karain. Including my situation, of course. I was astonished to hear that she was still in Karain earlier. But it explained why I found no connection between her and Mr. Etitian. Sorry to interrupt, but going back to the plane situation... I've taken the liberty of channeling... Chartering. Of chartering one for us. It's ready to take off at any time. It's not like the first time he's chartered a plane for Phoenix. Is it because he's rich or because he's powerful? Both? <laughs> okay. And I will do what's necessary to hide the fact that Dirk Sadamati is on board. Wow. Must be ni nice to be Chief Prosecutor. I want that job. <laughs> right. We have no time to lose. We must head for Karain at once. Karain, Karain, whatever. Right. I'm going too. After all, you're bound to need my help. No fair. I want to go too. No, no. Everyone, look, I've called it. Everyone is going. Everyone's going to Karain. And we don't even have to pay for tickets. This isn't a vacation, Trucy. Besides, I'll need you to hold down the fort. But, Daddy... 
Guess I should also only bring what's necessary. <laughs> Sorry, Trucy. But you're not necessary. Trucy is not necessary. But you, would you mind holding on to this stuff for me? Oh, are we going to give her all of our evidence we don't need anymore? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unnecessary evidence foisted onto Trucy. Unnecessary evidence foisted onto unnecessary daughter. Fine. But you'd better bring me back something besides just more evidence. Don't worry, we're- all three of us are, like, compelled to put things in our court record that we probably don't need. Pick literally everything up. So I'm sure we'll have plenty of souvenirs. Excellent. Now let us make haste to Karain. Away! Away! Oh, what? what? Did I accidentally press something? Press the save button. Oh. <laughs> And that's how our sudden trip to the kingdom of Karain began. I never imagined I'd return to the country of my youth under such circumstances, though. Aboard the flight Edgeworth. I just want the plane to like have a picture of Edgeworth's face on it. I just want the plane to have a cravat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I get temple, temple. We're gonna step off the SS Edgeworth into Karine right after this short break. <laughs>